this is my third part. I stopped making them for a little bit. I didn't think anyone was watching them, but someone uh, commented and said they want to see a third part. So, first off, we want to do is open up our blackjack. And I remember last time we uh, ran it, and every time you would hit check score and then play again, you left with these three or so many cards that you did draw and then can't draw any more cards. If we hit play again, you still get those. So we're going to fix that and hopefully finish up the rest in this tutorial. If not, there will be a fourth part, but I don't think we'll need a fourth part. So what we want to do is underneath play again underscore click, we want to make these cards so you can't see them again. So all we need to do is go up here so LBL card one dot visible. So we do that for all of them, but we want to set them to false. So LBL card one dot visible equals false. So you do that for all five. And later on I'll be making more tutorials if people keep on watching my videos. I have no problem helping you guys out, so and like I said in my other tutorials, I'm not a professional at all. <laughs> Just beginning out. And once we got those, you can run it and you can see that our problem is fixed. Alright. So, we want to go to the top of our button check here. And we need to make two new variables. So, dim we'll put player sum if I spell that right, player sum as integer because it's going to be holding numbers and then dim computer sum as integer. There may be better ways to do this at, like on YouTube somewhere else but this is the way I was taught and this is the way I'm just going to explain it and teach it to you guys so I hope you guys uh, learn from it. So now we want to put if counter equals one. We made a counter up here, right? So we're just going to use that because if the counter was set to one, then we would have these or these here, this value in that card. So we're just going to use that down here. So if counter equals one. So then what's going to happen is player sum, the variable we just created, is going to get that value of the, that card. So we can add them later on to find out which compu the computer or the player has won. So we'll put player sum equals value. So the value in this c the card will, that's what the player sum is going to add those two values in the card together. So I'll show you how to do that. So value, uh, your bracket, lbl card one dot txt, and then close your bracket. So player sum equals the value of card one in that one there. So plus, I'll actually put um, if counter one is less than one, because we want because if the player didn't click the button more than once then it still has still it's gonna have to have a value of one card so so then we put end that one so then if counter is greater than one then player sum is equal to the value of card one dot the property close your bracket plus value of the second card. So LBL one dot text. So we want to display I forgot to do it up here. If we want to display that, all you need to do is put LBL and then the player total dot txt equals the player sum. There we go. So we'll do the same thing here, so LBL 
total dot txt equals player sum. So what we want to do now is do the same thing, so on for the counters. So it's greater than two. So player sum equals so what you can do here is just copy up here and then you can just paste it down here and then just add the error one value lbl card3.txt if I could type it would help so then we do the same thing here you can just copy paste and then I'm going to copy and paste this again let's take the whole if statement and then just switch this to 3 and we just need to add the value of the LBL card for .txt so we'll do the same thing change this to 4 copy this one here plus value of your fifth card dot txt close your bracket so now we should run this draw a card check score and it doesn't want to show I know why so lbl player total dot visible equals true. So just copy that and paste it below. And there you go. So that should work. Draw a card. Check score. This is why we're here actually. I want this being player total. So just switch that and it should work. Because I didn't I put computer sum, so I'm just gonna pause this and fix. Alright, there we go. So now we got the the player is working here. So what we want to do now is just run it and test it. So we'll draw five cards until it says we can't anymore. Check score. And then you can add them up to make sure. So just to be on the safe side, just get your calculator and just add them up. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure that my math isn't the best. So. And then nine equals 34 so it's counting it's doing its math properly so we didn't mess up in the code so now we want to make the we want to do the computers here so go below your if statement and we'll put uh, computers computer sum this is going to be a little easier because uh, we don't the computers card will always be random and it's always going to have three cards no matter what so so computer sum equals actually what we can do we can just put no we can't so yeah LBL no computer sum equals value of LBL computer card one dot txt close your bracket plus oops value of the LBL compute two dot txt close your bracket plus value LBL and your last one dot txt 
So now that you got that, so you now you just want to put that in the label. So LBL computer score. Oops, total actually. Dot txt. Make sure you get the dot txt because then it will come up with an error telling you. I'll show you. Uh, computer sum. It'll come up and say that you can't. It says value of type integer cannot be converted to a system dot windows dot forms dot label. So that's saying you can't you can't make oops you can't make this one here if I can select it without selecting the other one that one there you can't make that you can't make this a part of that you can't remove it and replace it so you have to put the dot txt so the property of uh, property of this here dot txt the property is what you type in here so whatever this is that's your property of that text box or label so now we can run it draw cards can't draw anymore check score 32 this one isn't working it's because I do it every time LVL computer total dot visible equals true I think I would learn draw cards check score 21 so computer would win that so now we need to build our system to be able to do this how much time do I got left here 10 minutes alright so I'll see you guys in part 4 and after that I'll possibly show you um, how to add music um, upload images for your backgrounds there's lots of stuff you guys could um, leave me comments about to for me to do tutorials on for you guys as long as you guys keep on commenting or watching my videos I will continue to make uh, Visual Basic uh, tutorials so um, I'll see you guys in part 4 